Big Mike, you want the best or the worst off the top? Your call. Best uh, I like. I, I I want the bad news first. I always want the bad news first. Then we can get to the good news. I want the bad news first. All right. Let's start. Let's start with the bad here. Uh, not just All right, bad. Let's get to the bad stuff. But arguably, arguably, the worst team in the NFL by virtue of <laughs> losing a combined seventy-two to three the last two weeks. I'm talking about yeah. Bill Belichick's New England Patriots who, in his words, are starting over. Plain and simply, we got to find a way to, you know, play and coach better than that. And so, what's we're going to do? Start all over and um, get back on a better track than we're on right now. Is he still your quarterback going forward? Yeah, there was a lot of problems. It certainly wasn't all him. Uh, Bill, you said you guys need to start over. Um, ha have have you ever had to do that before? Five games in the season, just for reference. I mean, is is it something new? Yeah, I've done it before. What what does that entail? Starting over. Starting over. Last Monday, I asked you. Now I'm telling you, it's over. It's over. I'm not. Yeah. Even, I'm, I'm not. I'm not asking. What's what is it? Times What's it? New York to what is it? it? The Bill Belichick era in New England. Now, I, I will okay. go so far as to call Robert Kraft firing him in season. He deserves not to be fired in season. But there is there is no hope, okay, right now in New <laughs> England because I can't point yeah. to anything that this team does well. Where is the light at the end of the tunnel? Where is a sign of progress? 72 to 3 in the last two weeks. Every week is a new worst of Bill Belichick's career. Every week, Matt Jones, who I told you is just eh, is getting benched. This week, it's fourth and three. You're on the Saints 40 down, 24 to nothing, and you punt. Punt. Okay? And you punt. It's like, I'm, I'm sorry, like, there is, they, they scored 55 points in five games. Okay? They don't have the worst record, but this is the worst team in football we're talking about right now. And I can't imagine a world in which Belichick survives this season. At a certain point, you don't get the coast off your six Lombardi trophies. You just don't. Like, he, he is firmly on the hot seat and has one foot out the door. Not, not maybe not by choice, but like, this, this cannot go past this season. It is time for a hard reset. Speaking of reset, Michael, this team is so bad, it's forcing me into considering firing up franchise mode just so I could turn them around. If I were doing, you know, you know how we always uh, want to take the worst team, take the hardest the bad team, team. And the longest to go. Let me. This would be the team let me I work with this. right now. I'm not. I'm franchising, starting over. Damn right. I'm franchising the New England Patriots, and I'm blowing this sucker up. And, and, and let me be go clear about something. Let me be clear. Let me be clear about something. Yeah. You and I both, and this is this is serious business. We have a job to do. We got to call it like we see it. You and I both owe a lot to Bill Belichick, Robert Kraft, and the New England Patriots dynasty. And I'm not just, I'm not kissing anybody's yeah. ass. It's just the truth. That's we true. were like a it's lot true. of people who covered yeah. the Chicago Bulls of the 90s or the 49ers of the 80s or so on and so forth. We had a front row seat and we benefited. The people are covering Deion Sanders right now, for crying out loud. We benefited from being around the New England Patriots dynasty. You wrote a handful of New York Times bestsellers. I got my start yep. and I made my name. I cut my teeth on the New England Patriots beat at the Boston Globe. So this is not me for the record, Michael. This is not me taking any kind of delight or any kind of pleasure. Right. There's no schadenfreude going on here where I'm looking at this saying, hey, yeah, this is great. Ding dong, the witch is dead. I, and I've never called for or rooted for anybody's firing in my entire career. But this has run its course. Yeah, yeah, and I, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that with the uh, with the end because I, I've joked many times that um, uh, Tom Brady has has contributed to the United Negro College Fund, also known as my kids <laughs> <laughs> educational fund. Thank you, Tom. Um, there, there are lots of Hollies who will be going to college because of, of what you did with the New England Patriots and Bill Belichick. Really, I had no, and you know the story, but a lot of people don't. Uh, a lot of people listening to us and watching us, and if you are listening and watching, thank you. Uh, Sirius XM, Channel 85, Peacock TV, YouTube. However you're consuming us, we appreciate it. Uh, but Bill Belichick, in, in 2002, when I went to him and said, hey, I want to do 
a book, a different kind of book on your on your franchise, on your team. Hey, how about it? How about I hang around and uh, sit in on your coaches' meetings and go into the scouting department and uh, watch games from the coaches' box and be in in player meetings and all this stuff. How about I do that for about a year and a half and then come up with a book? And he said yes. Uh, now he would not say yes now, yes now to me or anybody else. He was yeah. just, that was a different yeah. Bill Belichick. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm very I'm grateful for that opportunity and I've learned a lot of uh, football about football. You know the game of football in team building by watching yeah. Belichick and, and his entire operation. But that being said, you're right. They are the worst team of football. They average 11 points per game 11 points per game. Uh, they brought in a new offensive coordinator who has shown me nothing. They've got a former Patriot Adrian Clem who you covered uh, probably briefly, uh, who is their new offensive line coach has shown me nothing. Uh, Mac Jones already has more pick sixes in his young career than Tom Brady had in his entire career at Gillette City. Okay, already Mac Jones has caught him. Hey, okay? like there's the step. Uh, so I mean, they got a lot of problems, Mike, and and Belichick has not signed and players well. He, yeah, who, who he's not signed players? them. Who, yeah. where, where, where they got good. Team? What did they do well? They got a lot of good. Hey, they got a lot good. They got a lot of good players. They, get, they got a lot of good they, players. They ain't got a lot. They have a lot of. No, they got okay, good players. I, they have good players. They don't have a single don't even, great player. They don't have a great player. They got good. So I agree with that. Even on the good, though, I would just say, is that relatively speaking? With all due respect, is that relative no. to the to the rest of their roster that they're good? And if so, if they got no. good players but not great players, what do they do well, Michael? Nothing. Nothing. They they don't do anything well. And I just think it's, it's interesting too. Um, you're, you're right. Everything you said about the team, but I and I, I don't know if I have an answer to this. Maybe you can. Maybe you can figure it out. Um, maybe some other folks can can help me figure this out. The time we know times have changed. You know the, our, our culture has evolved, technology has evolved, and football has evolved too. And you talk about coasting off of your laurels. Look, I went to school in Pittsburgh. Chuck Knoll won four championships in six years. He was over the 1980s, and 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 he wasn't done. He wasn't done until like 1989 or 1990 was his last season. He wasn't done until then. Or 91, 91. Okay. He went over the 80s, won their last Super Bowl in technically in 1980, but the 1979 Steelers. That was the last time they won. So he goes a dozen years without winning the Super Bowl. Don Shula went 23 years. Okay, without a Super Bowl. He had Dan Marino, got to one Super Bowl, ain't win nothing. 23 years coasting. So Bill Belichick won a Super Bowl in 2018. Here we are in 2023 and we're saying, okay, that's not enough. So that mm. I, I guess the culture has changed. Organizations okay. have changed. No, like nobody is saying uh, for Don Shula five years post the undefeated okay. season. I think that was the last one, right? Okay. Was 73 the last one? 70, 72 was the undefeated season. 72 was the All right, undefeated So then they, won, then they won the next year. Then they won in 73. Oh, won, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Super so Bowl then seven was that was it. Super Bowl 8 was 73. Correct. Yeah. And then he's done. He's done. Yeah. And then he went and then, and then he <laughs> okay. went to one in 84. Yeah, exactly. And, and, yeah. and he and he coached for two more decades. But you know, yeah. was that off of so, what was that off of? And so I think I think Belichick has run his course in New England, not because he can't coach anymore. I think he's run his course in New England because he it's just he has been there too long. I don't think he's done as a coach. I think he is. I think he's pretty much so, okay. done in New England. I don't think he's done coaching. All right. So okay, let me ask you this. They got a long way to go though. So as I said well, in, in the so, song, so, jo so, joy ain't coming tomorrow morning. Joy ain't coming no, tomorrow morning. Not. So so okay, on the one hand, on the one hand, he hadn't forgotten how to coach. Just, just just go with that. And mm -hmm. maybe he deserves I love I love the Shula and Noel comparison. Maybe he deserves more than five years since his last Super Bowl. And 
you know, what, what's it been since Brady? Three plus years, going on four years since Brady, uh, to, to rebuild this team. Maybe he deserves some grace. Maybe he deserves a bit of a pass. How long that pass should be is up for discussion. On the flip side, are you sure he still got it? Because 72 to 3 over the last two games would tell me that he doesn't. Like, if, if not mm. for the six Lombardies, if not for the glory days, if not for all the banners that's hanging in Gillette Stadium because of him and others. Yeah. If we're looking at, we're looking at just the, le- if we're looking at this team this year in a vacuum, what have you done for me lately? Well, I, I, well, I, I okay. You know. <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah. he doesn't look, Bro. he's, he's not doing, it's not, you can't point the finger at anybody else. He constructed the yeah, team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's coaching oh, the he's, team. It's starting the team him. is awful. It's awful. Not average. Yeah, it starts with him. Not, uh, not, not, this isn't, we, bad, we're long bad, past bad, the days. We're, bad we're, Michael, team. the ship, the, the ship has sailed from, oh, well, there are championship expectations and an impossibly high standard in New England. Yeah, like, no, nah, no, man. They're bad. Like, they should probably be tanking. And I know, I know professional football teams don't actually tank, but like at this point, yo, the, the only, the only way up is to the bottom. <laughs> they, gotta, they need yeah. to be in the Caleb Williams sweepstakes right now is what's best for this franchise. That's how bad it is. All right. Well, if you say, am I sure that he still has it? I'm going to, I'm going to answer a question with a question. Why wouldn't he still have it now? Look and it. Now there, there are two conversations. I mean, I'm 44 <laughs> there are two conversations and I still got ahead. it. I, 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 okay, I, I okay. Up, I want to be going in the morning. I don't. I don't function the same as I used to. <laughs> yeah, but okay. All right. There are two conversations though happening here because there's a national conversation, there's a local conversation in New England. Oh, I love, like, I love ready, that like, distinction. They are they're ready in New England. They're ready. <laughs> like, hey, listen, <laughs> bro, you gotta go. You gotta go. And so you would think it would be different that like nationally people would say, okay, time to move yeah. on. You know, got to fire right. locals would be like, and, you don't understand. England, and, yeah. Oh, you don't know. Yeah. I was yeah. there when the, when the ball split the upright Super Bowl 36 yeah. and then 38 and then Malcolm Butler, all this stuff. No, no. So uh, nationally, I think people still look at him. I, I went back and looked at some of the rankings before the season. This is before the season, you know, coaching rankings. Everybody does this. So who are the top coaches of football? So uh, I think Florio did a ranking. I think Florio had Belichick second or third. Uh, CBS did a ranking. They had Belichick third, Andy Reid first, Sean McVay second or fourth, somewhere in there. So he's been nationally, they look at him like that. Now, locally, if you had people do a, a coach's poll, uh, he probably wouldn't crack the top 10 uh, in New England, but nationally, he still would, despite 72 to 3. And I'll say this is a here. He'll, here's the big question on whether he still has it or not. And you remember this because I think you were covering the team when he said we got to start over. That sounded very familiar to me. I knew exactly when he said, yeah, I've done that before. I knew the year the year jumped out of my head and it probably did for you. 2002 he said the same thing. 2002 we got to start over. They start off three and zero in 2002. They lost four straight after their fourth straight loss. Bill Belichick gives a press conference and says, we got to start over. Now, uh, the reporter was Greg Bedard who asked him that question. What Greg Bedard doesn't know is that starting over for Belichick, first thing he did in the next team meeting, uh, went in there and cussed everybody out. Mm -hmm. Cussed out, including the coaches. Cusses everybody out. And then after he got that off, he had to just get that off his chest. That wasn't really solution oriented. That was just like, you know what? I'm pissed off. I just want to, I feel like cussing. Like a little kid who learns how to cuss and the words don't, the, the, the profanities don't really match up. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Uh, the subject verb prevent profanities don't really connect. <laughs> you just like, mm-hmm. just kind of throwing it out there. He did that. And then after he did that, he reestablished who they were. So I think that's what he's going to do going into Vegas. This is who we're supposed to be. This is who we've hmm. become. This is what we're supposed to be. We're supposed we are an old school retro 1990s kind of football team in 2023. They you know, they Which should go Mike. They should in and of itself. It, well, it is. That's part of the problem. But you know what they should do? <laughs> Lean into that damn thing. Go out and sign a fullback. Go sign two fullbacks <laughs> and run the football. <laughs> I mean, that's really who they are. That's what they want to be. And, and, and yeah. bring in another lineman or two because hmm. that's the only way they're going to win. They, they're not, they don't have a good receiver, not a single good receiver. 
Their right. tight ends are yeah. okay. So that's what he's going to try to do. And if he can't do it, if they don't look better, then you're right. He's lost it. Because that team, he, um, that O2 team, responded to him. Didn't make the playoffs, well, but they responded. That. I was about to say, this and team, the next I wonder, year, and the next year, they won the they first won. of back to back. And the next year, uh, you had your book. You had Patriot Reign after 2003, not 01, after 2003 when it was, you know. Because remember, what was the title? I want to say the, the title of the, old, of the book at one point was Wait Till Last Year. Yeah, so that's another sermon for another service. Um, yes. <laughs> and, we've also, and we've also had um, a lot of experience with writing off the Patriots, writing off Bill Belichick, only for them to find a way to rise. This feels different, but okay. We'll see what starting over again means this time. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.